It has been such a crazy, crazy month for me. I promised to stop buying succulents until May. So June, July has been uh, a succulent, crazy buying frenzy for me. Now I'm all tap out until <laughs> Christmas, probably. <laughs> until I see or find something that tickles my fancy. So anyway, this is from Let Love Grow. This is my second parcel for them in two weeks. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So these are the first parcels I got two weeks ago and I just started potting them up last night. So the first one, the very, very first one is this beautiful Graptiveria Purple Dreams and guess how much I paid for them because I got them when they were on special but these are two big clusters so that's a one plant I paid for and two plants so and I love it so much that I'm gonna go and get three more hopefully other three will be as big as this ones and that way this will fill up this beautiful pot of Graptiveria purple dream I've got some in my garden that I got like very small about that size and now it's grown quite big but they're not purple anymore because I grew them in a shaded area and so they have lost their color and another one I bought because they have a 35% sale and that's the reason why I bought now this one I thought was oh, well this was given to me as Canopyton Belobum and as it turned out this is Canopyton Belobum it's like a little bum bum that's why it's so cute it's like saying peace man so and I was so impressed that they sent me two and it was very cheap so otherwise I wouldn't have bought any because I do have a budget and this one was given to me it's now grown as well and they're quite easy to grow so I decided I'm gonna get some more cute little bum bums for myself and another plant that was on my wish list was the sedum farfariseum this sedum farfariseum online the photo that they have for sale to me, it looks like it's only, like if I remove that, it's about that size. And I thought, I haven't got it. And when they do grow and color up, they are the most beautiful red little eggs just growing on trees. <laughs> so I got two. So again, this one is so gorgeous that I decided to buy again. So hopefully we'll get to check what's in that box. And anyway, this one is Echeveria Lara. I have an Atlantis or peaches and cream, also or pet and also coconut ice, which looks very, very similar. So I thought I'll just get a Lara just for comparison. But this one, I have a few plants that look similar and when I got this, this was more colorful because I've had them in this container for a good 10 days and they lost their color. So they were more compact and so they come dry rooted like this with no soil but there's a little bit of soil in there so I have to attend to that. So this Poldensis Kevin, this is big. I was shocked when I opened this and I thought it can't be for that price it is such a bargain so I was encouraged to buy some more and they went off on sale for about a week and then a week later I checked back on again and they were on sale again so I went and got a whole heap more plants so this one I want to plant them all in the same pot because they kind of look similar just a few plants that look similar to each other so that way I can make a good comparison but it's a must plus it's also flowering so I should really plant this by the end of day I am going to pot this up and this one it's got a baby as well I didn't realize it's got a baby this is Chavria Psyche and again this one is on my wish list I've got a red Psyche but I don't have a standard Psyche and it's about to flower as well coming out of there so 
all cheap, 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 cheap. And this one is called, what are you? Are you? Ah, Puli Lenseyana. So Puli Lenseyana, I put away one plant somewhere. And this one as well, it looks similar to anything this Pulidon is hybrid. They kind of look similar, so it's kind of very difficult to tell which is what. So Puli Linseyana has got that white coating farina from the Linseyana, but the Puli Linseyana on the right and this one is Yamato Spring has got the red edges that sort of very similar or very typical of Polydones. And But also there's a few Agavoides that also sort of look similar to this plant. That's why I really wanted to get uh, all of them as much as possible, the hybrids that sort of look similar that way. I can save you some confusion when I do my video and say which one is the prettiest of them all and that's the only one you're worth getting. Now this one, this is called toffee apple. I don't really like skinny leaf echeverias from my area because they do suffer from the frost and it takes a whole uh, couple of seasons before I can revive them after coming out from winter chill and frost and dying. So, but toffee apple tends to color up beautifully so I thought I might as well get one but maybe when I do get eventually get a greenhouse that's one of the plants I'm going to keep there because I need it growing and coloring up. Now one plant I had or I had because it died on me I think there's still one little tiny one left I'm gonna just bring this because I'm soaking them in this seaweed solution. Now this one in the middle that is Rus bi so i bought two plants as well and i could not believe i thought i'm just gonna get one teeny wincy itsy bikini like that one there that small one but then now i got two like this and i am so impressed that also for the price you're gonna buy them when they're on special because or otherwise i can't afford to pay full price then I would only end up with one plant, but now I ended up with two plants and this one has got three heads as well. So now it's good to get a head start because it's not worth waiting for them to grow. So that if I would have to say what I've learned over the past six years that I've been growing succulents, I already said this in my other videos before, is that I wish I bought more than one plant because they take a long time to grow. Some won't even pop up. Like if you get a leaf, say for example, the Shaviana truffles, this, well, I haven't had a baby leaf grown from any thin leaf echeverias yet. They can only grow or I can only, other people would have success, I'm sure, but with me, I can only grow them from a cutting. And for me to grow them for a cutting, uh, from a cutting, it would take a greenhouse and warm weather, which we haven't got. So this is Shaviana truffle, beautiful, nice red. It's got all those curls and similar to Swan Lake, which I can see over there. But anyway, this one I am so intrigued with. This is Bella variety Bella. And this one, when it came, all of them, even the smallest ones here, so this, the greenest one there in the corner were all like that color in the center. And the center was like on fire. And when I opened it, actually like, oh my goodness, see that tiny little coloring there? They're all like that intensity, actually more intense. But because it's been kept here indoors with no light or sunlight for 10 days, they faded and turned green. So a lot of plants that are kept in the shade will go green. Now this last one here which is so interesting i love 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 this semper vivum so for the semper v lovers this is a crested semper vivum centennial look at that brain red brain <laughs> so it's so gorgeous and i love it look at that so i could could i actually split you up no i can't so maybe i could have this down in the bottom but I won't. I leave it till it grows up a little bit bigger and hopefully it doesn't flower on me because Semper Vivum, they do die. They're monocarpic and they die when they flower, but they do throw off 
a lot of chicks. That's why they're called hens and chicks or mother and babies or mothers and chickens. Not chickens, in it? Chicks. So anyway, before I get too cheeky again, I'm going to put this away. And also, I got this one, which I think if you add on the shipping as well, because if you say, for example, it's $15.50 for shipping, I divide it to say 18 plants. As so far, I've got this, so it works out. I have to add 87 cents or 84 cents, something like that, to each plan and then that way I get the true value of what I paid for so anyway this one is Sanisho and it's supposed to be purple and it came like this basically it wasn't purple at all when I got it it's still green now the the challenge for me I can already see some purpling happening growing in there because I put this under the grow light now the edges as well it shows showed some purpling but I'm sure this will be a beautiful plant for the summer and during winter I of course I have to bring it in but anyway I haven't given up on you Sinishu Amaniensis or Amaniensis is it Amaniensis or Amaniensis I can't understand my handwriting Amaniensis now last but not least is my favorite Echeveria Manaudes you, you know why it's my favorite? Because it's free. <laughs> I'm a cheapskate, I know. And I love it. I love, if you don't have to pay for anything, why not? But we have to keep the economy going. That's why I'm doing my part by buying succulents. So anyway, this one now is quite a big plant. And for a freebie. And look at the red on the back there, there's sort of a purpley reddish color. So during summertime, this whole plant goes all beautiful red. I do have a variegated one that died on me. Well, it's still alive, struggling, fighting through winter. It's still alive, but this one is a freebie. I don't have to pay for this. And they are very easy to grow if you live in Sydney or Melbourne. Here in Canberra, unfortunately, they're very challenging to grow unless you have them somewhere in an area where it's sort of warmed up. And even if you haven't got it out in the open, this plant will suffer under cold. If the temperature or the air temperature goes down to minus 8, that's it. They do sort of die a little bit and then they grow a little bit more when the weather uh, warms up. I forgot this one. This is Echeveria Happy Green. Echeveria Happy Green. I was happy to get it because I want to compare it with Echeveria Katrina. And also even, what is this one here now? The Puli, I think it's quite the Puli Lincey. No. Puli Linceyana. This is Puli Linceyana. Paul Dances Kevin. I got my, my Puli all mixed up. So this one is Happy Green on the left. And so many of them sort of kind of look similar, but this one's got skinny leaf. Of course, that one's got fat leaf. And also, mocha, and there's another one, Giselle, looks very... Giselle, I think, is longer as well. It's like the swan leg. And <laughs> um, swan leg, as Giselle, as in the ballet. Never mind. So this is happy green. So I wonder if this happy green will turn happy red in summer. What is it with the anticipation of opening a box that makes it so exciting? I don't know. Do you get excited when you open up something? Like... Christmas is so exciting. Have you said Christmas, but like, I'm more like, bah humbug. Only the grandchildren gets present because nowadays, especially nowadays, uh, it says thank you for your order before you unwrap. You have to read the instructions okay the budgie flew away so you have to read the instructions so i like buying from someone who's got care instructions because it is so difficult you're uh, racking your brains as to how do i look after these plants so i better just go watch uh, growing succulents with Liz Kate to find out <laughs> but her videos are so confusing because she has so many anyway but if you go through my videos I'm sure you will find answer to your questions so this says please lay them out in numbered order a one two and three uh, sorry I hit my camera then please read instruction on next page first enjoy your newbies thank you so thank you for your order, plants, name, and labels. Okay, so what I like to do as well is, uh, so there's all, no sand, okay? No sand. Did you, did you read that? No sand. Except, I think, is there, what, what plant can have sand? I can't think of, there's a lot of people using sand. 
I don't really like that. I am guilty of this. When I first started growing succulents, because I was inspecting the potted plants I got from my local hardware store and local nursery, and they all got sand. Now, let's go open this up. So, I am not going to show you how to repot this because from my other potting up videos, maybe a couple of the sedum or something. Now, let's go a one, two, six, seven, nineteen. Okay, the reason why I was prompted to buy this, there's always a reason for me, good excuse, is because of the Echeveria Bellato PKJ. The re that's the reason why I bought this well i got carried away of course and i thought i haven't got this and i haven't got that so i might as well get it so now let's begin now i've got all my labels done so now we're ready is ready for the unboxing so oh why do i have to pick the last one number 19 there you go so this one is as i go along i have to cross it out and say Yep, got that one. It's Bellato PKJ. I probably need another container later on so I can put this one because... Okay, woohoo! Look how big that is. This is like $13.67 to be exact. And beautiful plant. It's a beautiful plant. Look at it. Nice, Chloe, and pink tips. There you go, and comes bare rooted over here, so we can see that's the first one done. Next is Ionium Big Bang. So I only have one Big Bang that I got from Mixed Succulents before, so now I'm getting another one. This cost me only $5.87. Woohoo! Okay, so this one is all curled up, but nevertheless, you have a lot of bangs on you. Yep, so I like the variegated strip because the one i've got now i only got a few okay so that's still pretty good for what was that 587 i already know what big bang looks like so i don't need a label for that one this one is oh should we open the gift i don't know i leave the gift last okay uh, okay we go we <laughs> they're all just falling out number 11 okay let's go number 11 is um purple dream okay and i got three this is only one, so they would have separated it, I'm assuming. Yep, look how big that is, and um, 11, uh, 782 it cost me. So that's all I factor in. The shipping cost as well, I divided it amongst my plants. That way, that's a true indication of how much it costs you, because a lot of people will say, oh, this is a bargain, it only cost me $10. But then you have to, uh, pay the shipping fee and that they don't even count it or whatever so now that's purple dream I already know that one so I don't need to put a label on that one so a purple dream I've got one so far and number seven is sedum farfaraceum I only got one this is two because I have two earlier now to add it on oh my goodness this is now oh this is so beautiful Check out the color. This one is sort of halfway colored up. Look at that. It's beautiful. So compared to my, the green. So this is $6.52. Put it that way. That's cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. The next one is number two. Jovivarba V. Sobolifera. So, or you can say Hobivarba. I'm making a mess. Oh. I'm supposed to get three of this. So now this is probably number one. So I bought three of them. So this is one. I think this counted as one. So I'm going to put it in here and I'll put a leave room for the other two. So Javi Varba, I got one so far. Number 11. See, I knew it. So number 11 is Purple Dream. So this is the second Purple Dream. Just got another container because I really want them, the leaves to just drop there. They are so generous. If I were to buy succulents again, whatever they've got on stock next time, provided they're on sale, <laughs> I'm going to buy again from Let Love Grow. It's growing. Look at that. Hey, 
that's that's a big plant. That's this is only considered like one and four seven eighty two. That's what it cost me. And even if I pay full price, which is eleven dollars plus you factor in, so say even twelve dollars, that is such a bargain. I have seen recently one of them being sold off for like ten dollars, and it's only like I think three heads. So it's about divide this one into three. That's the equivalent. So this is like thirty dollars worth basically, but uh, seven eighty two. So Graptivaria purple dream with pup. So seven eighty two. Cheap, 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 cheap. Now. You go here. I should probably put all of them here because I, I, I still got another one. It's so big. So I would say they grow quite easily. And being a Graptivaria, so Graptopithylum and Achiveria hybrid, they would be easy to look after as well. And I would say they are going to be frost hardy, suitable for my area. I'm picking up even the teeny weeniest ones of leaves. Now you can stay there and we'll have another one. So I've got two so far. Now the next one, 18. So number 18 is Blue Moon. I have a big Blue Moon, but someone came over and saw my Blue Moon and I was arguing with them saying it's not a Blue Moon. So when I got it, it's got Blue Moon label and I already have a lot of pups. So now I got a blue moon and I would say my blue moon is the same as probably the blue moon. I just don't know because this is still small. So this is blue moon with sort of the same flickiness as my blue moon. Having two blue moons from different sellers would have confirmed that what I've got growing in the garden is a blue moon and they are fast grower and easy to grow. I don't even propagate them from leaves. I just harvest the pups because it's quite a prolific papa. Next, number six, it says. So number six is Echeveria alata. This is a cutting. So I got three and works out $2.27 per cutting. So let's go cross that out. And since it's a cutting, there's no soil. And if there's no soil, there wouldn't be any mess, would there? Oops, yes. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. It's like a baby version or it's like a, <laughs> a bigger version of Tramontana, also Darren Oliver, or Darren, yes, it is Darren Oliver, very similar looking, and since it's a cutting over here, I am already going to remove a couple of the leaves here, so because it's sort of right to the edge, that way it will have a little neck to have some roots growing on that one so that's still not too bad and it is uh, about to flower as well so we got already got a container for it and look how beautiful the colors at the back so and i'm guessing that once this is exposed to the sun eventually it will have all that beautiful color as well and it's sort of shiny and very cremnaria ish agavoidish ish <laughs> but so three heads at two dollars fifty two each or two twenty nine two thirty there you go that one's all right that one's got a little seed we'll remove that one so that one's good enough i would really like that to grow and let it flower and i'm sure i can harvest some more on the inflorescence or when it flowers now the next one is so a lot has gone number five number five is silver frost Silver frost, silver frost, <laughs> not quite, isn't it? So this one, oh, I drop it, is $8.47. It's supposed to be like a cluster. And yes, it is two plants for one. So two for one. I will definitely buy some more. I can't stress that enough, in it? So... Uh, Sedevaria Silver Frost again. So this one, will you go pink under my care? Who knows? Only time will tell. Number 16 is, oh, this one. I love this one. This is Subcorimbosa. This is really named Echeveria Subcorimbosa. 
Jutlahuaca or Juxla Huaca. O three O giant form, but I'd like to say Jutlahuaca. Jutlahuaca. Is that who? I don't know. It's a silent oh J. Jutlahuaca, something like that. Anyway, this one cost me six dollars fifty two. Now it will have some roots, so we can roll it off in here. Oh my goodness. See, I only bought one because I don't know the condition is going to come in. And it's got a one, two, and a baby tiny one. So it's like three plants. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. And it is bigger than my Subcorambosa LAU030. So now, oh my goodness. So cute. I like chappy plants, don't you? There you go. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Now you can go in here. Now, next one, number one. This one I is Zemper Vivum Gay Jester, just like me. Very, very, very happy. Gay Jester. Okay, I want to see what you look like because you look so pretty on the photo. Sort of a yellowy color and it is almost like my golden nugget. Look at that, or gold nugget or something, but it is prettier. Look at the colors. <gasps> Gorgeous. Hang on. You have to face the camera, sorry. Oh, beautiful. Semper Vivum Gay. Hang on. It's, there you go. Gay Jester. Beautiful, beautiful. Semper V. Some of Semper Vivum, actually. It's notorious for being loved by mealybug, but some of them I find actually uh, don't have mealybugs or don't get mealybugs. So. Maybe it's a specific plant thing. Now, next one is number 10. Number 10 is Pink Lawi. This Pink Lawi has cost me, normally they're $15. So with the special and the shipping cost factor in, it's $10.42. I have been, someone tried to sell me a few Graptivaria Pink Lawi in person, but it doesn't really do anything for me. But this one, because it's not as pink as this. This is actually really good condition. And for the size as well. And I don't have to pay an arm and a leg for it. So which is what I like even more. Who wants to pay more when you can pay less? But anyway, I must have Graptivaria Pink Lawi. Did I cross it out now? Yes, I did, I think. Yep, done. So, we'll put you here where you can show off your pretty face. Now, the next one, number one. So, I did buy two Gay Jester. So, I'll put this over here and I'll open it later on. Now, the next one is number two. Also, Hovivara, I got three. So, okay, I'll move you out there. And Lawi, that one, and this one now. A one, a two. And another one, um, Hovi Varva, put another one, and Semper Vivum Gay Jester. So I got two of them. There you go, all done. Now, next one, because I want to do an arrangement and just put it in a pot. 15 is Minima Cross Saragossa Hybrid. This is $6.52. You can't get it any cheaper than this. Well, I find for me anyway. Maybe some of you can buy it cheaper than that, but from where I'm in, the cheapest in person normally I can get is about say $10 or $8. So, but it's normally a small plant as well. It's not as big as this. Which one is this now? <laughs> I forgot what it is. What number is it? Now I have to review. Oh my goodness. See all this talking. It is Minima Cross Saragossa Hybrid. This is now $6.52. So $6 cheap, cheap and Look at that. So it's quite, oh my goodness. It's not as long a name, but right now uh, it looks like other plant, but I am impressed with the size. That's quite a big plant. So that's cheap for Minima Saragossa Hybrid. Okay, you can go here. Now, next, I really have to pay attention. This is number eight. No, it can't be. This is Sedum Alantoides, number eight. Look how big that is. I was expecting something small. So, this is a nice surprise for $7.17. Sedum Alantoides, no, can't be. Is it possible? 
Is it? I don't know. Okay, guys. If... I don't know where you buy your online plants, but I highly recommend Let Love Grow. And as their name suggests, yes, my love is growing for them more. And, oh, wow, it is quite a big plant. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. And Sedum, oh, no. I only bought one, but they gave me two. Maybe they have a lot in stock. Look. So normally, I was only expecting something like this small. And look what I got. It's huge! It's huge! Look at that big. Look! And, oh my goodness, I can't believe this. <laughs> and my budget is talking again. $7.17. Oh my, my, my. So, I don't know, I, I just like some green ones as well for a change because most of my plants are going pink or red on me. So I do want something that okay you stay there have green or something else so alantoides you are a peach because it's yellow but anyway number four green smile this is a crested one normally it's 15.50 and i got it for ten dollar 74 okay so green smile green smile where are you label this is a crested i love my crested plant check that out how big is that very very big and it goes sort of red or purple so green smile I'm gonna start singing smile but I'm not allowed to so I won't so green smile crest so you can see the crest thing in the bottom there I could actually hang on I'm gonna do it now I'm gonna write your very eye before your very eye you I'm gonna there you go, let's go in here. Can't, anyway, I split it up. Ah, because they're gonna, oopsie, there you go. So I've got, so this one is crested and that one is a standard plant. Might as well remove that one. Now I can have a one solid crest head, which is this one. And I have two now, but I'm going to plant them in the same pot and I've got um, leaf to spare to grow as well. So there you go. Now, there are, I find my green smile doesn't smile that much to me. It's just slow growing. So, <laughs> now is that one? I forgot what it was, green smile. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So, now the next one is number 14 is... Echeveria bifida variety or variants, uh, Metallica, which is $6.19. I better get the label now because or else I'm going to forget. So bifida, Metallica, you can go there. And this one now, we're going to put here. Oopsie. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's so beautiful. Look at those claws. Oh, very bifida. I got a bifida. But it doesn't have that metallic, silvery look about it. This one is like pink and silver or silver pink. Beautiful plant. Beautiful. And it's sort of thick leaves. So it looks like a very strong plant. So this one has had a hard life because all the tips sort of dried up. So this tells me that this plant would require, would love water. So this is one of those that you can put in the garden and let uh, nature take its course and Mother Nature would just look after it anyway, so that it would love the rain. Speaking of rain, we had so much rain today, it's unbelievable. Anyway, it's supposed to end sometime soon. I can't hear it anymore, it's a little bit quiet. But the next one is number nine. Nine is Bini Uhiku. Bini Uhiku is $8.47. So this is a little bit more expensive compared to the other ones. So second more expensive achiveria that I've got so far. So normally they're pretty good. The expensive ones are very pretty. Bini Ohiko. And the reason why is because put Bini Ohiko there. Look how big that is. $8. So $8.50, say for example. Look how big that plant is. It's not like just one plant. It's just got one, two, three heads. So straight away, and there's a baby still there, so I already got a head start that when I do propagate, it's not going to take me 
uh, growing one plant for one year and then the next year I'll have two or three plants. So this is equivalent to two years growth basically what I've got here. And for $8 something, $8.50 let's say, that is cheap. So now, Uhiko, you go there. Oh, I love, 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 let love grow. Number 12. Number 12 is this one. I have been after this one for a long time, but I... Okay, it's called the Chaviria Quitensis Variance Quitensis. It must be really good because they have to name it twice. It's a little bit like Wagga Wagga, Woi Woi, and also Mita Mita. Is there a Mita Mita in Australia? Yeah, there you go. So anyway, Hybe is watching the common, common the, 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 the Commonwealth Games number 12 already crossed it up. So Quitensis, Quitensis, so this one is $6.20 or $6.19. Oh my God, it is beautiful. Uh, I do have a good variety or beautiful variety of plants. Now this one has lost one leaf. Now one more reason to <laughs> one more plant basically if that grows so this one is more of a stemmy one but what I like about this one is that it's just those red lines at the back of the leaves it's just so gorgeous and when it does grow the show-stopping quality of this plant is the back so I just love it so Having it, if you do an arrangement, so when I do an arrangement later on, but this one's, I'm just going to grow them first up. If it does survive in our area, it's very similar to the Nodulosa, but this one, uh, it'd be good to have like a little tree because I like my bonsai arrangement. And then you have smaller plants around it and rocks and little figurines and stuff. And that will be just gorgeous. Now, do I have, I think... Last one. Is this the last one? Minima cross subsecilis number 13. Yep. Because I only have one more label left. So let's move you over to and that one there. So this one now. And yes, we still have the gift to open up. So what are you? Minima subsecilis. I've got minima, I've got subsecilis, but then what does it look like when you put the two together? You end up with a fat minima. Look at that, beautiful. I love fat plants. And look at the claws. The claws is just to die for. Little tips, red tips. I love it. Hang on. Is that focusing even? It's a gorgeous plant. So of all the plants I've got here, which one would I recommend? Well, it depends what you like. But I've got a variety of sedum. Um, Semprovivum, Echeveria, Ionium, and Hovivara, and what other ones? Yes, I do. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got for this video. And that, that one, number two, that's another uh, Hovivara, Sabo, Soboholifera. Oh, my goodness. So the third one of my Hovi, which is this one, or second one. No, I got this confused. Yes, this is the second one. I don't, I'm not supposed to open this. I can open this privately because I already have two. Oh, they do give you two of each. So there you go. So even when you order one, you're thinking you're going to get one, you're going to get a surprise. They're going to give you two. So which is good to know because they are quite easy to grow. They're prolific grower. But some other sellers will just give you one teeny weeny one. Stingy, I call it. <laughs> But Let Love Grow is very generous. I ah, love you, Lev Love, 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 love. So I love Let Love Grow. This one is now wet from my other pot there. So the gift, this is a surprise. Would I know what your name is? I don't know. What's your name, beautiful one? Oh, okay. I got a crassula, variegated crassula, I think. Yes. I have to look up online uh, what the name of this one is. I will write the name and anyway guys I'm gonna continue potting this up and Krasula I need to get a label for you but for now you can just go all here and highly recommended so if you're gonna buy plants go to let love grow check out their website although they do 
uh, have a lot of plants that are out of stock right now so I keep going back and checking what they have and they haven't got so when they do have what they haven't got now then I will go and order some more that's probably during Christmas time anyway guys thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this plant unboxing as much as I do sharing it with you thank you so much bye bye see you next time